This is a digital oscilloscope, which has all the same functionality as an analog oscilloscope, plus some extra features. The signal generator is producing a signal of about 8,000 hertz here. Uh, the frequency range is set to 1 to 11 kilohertz, so that makes that 8,000. And the amplitude is up to 5 volts there. That's the maximum. Um, we're going to see that the peak voltage is very, very different to what this says of 5 volts. Um, not quite sure what the reason is for that. It may well be that the oscilloscope needs a calibration for the voltage. Not too sure. So apologies for that. Let's get on to actually analysing this signal. We do the same procedure as for an analogue oscilloscope. We have a time-based setting here, Y gain setting here, so we can start to adjust the signal. At the moment, it's a bunch of nearly vertical lines, those yellow lines there, so we need to uh, go to smaller divisions of time per division so that then uh, these lines are more spread out. And I'll go to larger voltages per division so that the peak and the trough can be seen on the grid here. That's my signal. The time-based setting is shown up here, 40 microseconds, and the Y gain setting is shown down here, 50 volts per division. And to actually calculate the frequency by, by myself, but doing it myself, I can shift the position so that the wave is crossing the grid at this point here. I'm shifting the position, okay, when I'm happy it's crossing, stop there, and then count how many divisions for three complete cycles. You could count for more cycles to be more accurate, I'll just do three in this case. So it's three squares, three there, it's nine squares, it's 9.4, and I multiply that by the time base setting, so 9.4 multiplied by 40 times 10 to the minus 6 that gives me 0 0.000376 and then I divide that by 3 that's the time period which is 1.253 dot 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 times 10 to the minus 4 and one take the reciprocal of that so that's 7000 978 or 79 hertz. So that's how you could manually work out the frequency. But this digital oscilloscope, as I said, it's got more functionality than an analog one and it's showing the frequency of the signal over here and here. So I think this is the average and this is what it is picking up at the moment because this signal coming out of the signal generator will fluctuate a little bit. So just over 8,000 hertz there, it's 8 kilohertz, which is close to what I got, but slightly higher. <coughs> this would be probably averaging over much more information than I just used there. The peak voltage will be the same procedure, shift as for an analog oscilloscope. So I'm shifting the wave so that a peak is over the middle where there are these extra scale markings. And that's that 1.6 yeah, squares above the middle. And I can shift the position back so, so that this trough is then over the middle. And that's 1.4 below, okay, so 1.4 plus 1.6 gives me 3. Multiply that by the Y gain setting, 50. So it's 150 volts peak to peak. Divide that by 2, get 75. And but this is also telling me the peak to peak voltage here, which is really coming out at about 165, so it's slightly higher than what I was, what I calculated.
centimeters. So that's how you use a digital oscilloscope. And then if I change the input signal, so if I reduce the frequency, you can see the signal up changing on the screen there. So because I'm reducing the frequency, the time period is increasing. So it's spreading out over the screen. And then if I go to a higher frequency, obviously it'll get more compressed on the screen there. And then I can reduce the amplitude. I was already at maximum amplitude, so I can only reduce it here. And you can see the amplitude of the display is getting smaller there. And that's a digital oscilloscope. There was one thing I forgot to mention when I had the digital oscilloscope out last, which is the easy way to get your signal being displayed on the screen. Rather than tweak the Y gain setting and the time base setting to get your wave displayed on the screen to take measurements, you can instead just hit the auto set button and it'll do it for you. So there's my signal being displayed without me having to manually adjust the settings. So that's something you can do on digital oscilloscopes as well.